See the flexible capsule around the joint? Let's cut open this capsule and hold it back with sutures. I'll need you to dislocate the femoral head. Do this by flexing and rotating the femur. Great job! Now we can see the entire femoral head and how arthritic the joint is. Using a sizing gauge, measure the head and neck of the bone. The head size will influence which prosthesis size to use. Seeing we have already templated prior to surgery, why measure the neck of the femur again? Nice job! I've estimated the center of the femoral neck and marked the bone using a bovi cautery device. Now place the guide wire and I'll confirm that the position is accurate in three ways. First, the alignment guide shows that we have found the center of the neck and not just the center of the head. Second, if we centered the guide wire properly, this feeler gauge should rotate freely around the neck of the femur, which it does. Third, I'll finish placing the guide wire and check to see where it exits the bone. Why are so many steps taken to ensure that the center of the femoral neck is located? Good job! Grab your drill and pass it over the guide wire to prepare the femoral head for the guide rod. And make sure you don't go deeper than the red line. That line corresponds to the size of our prosthesis. That's some good drilling.